Good morning, my daughter. Good morning, daddy. Oh, congratulations on your new position of CEO of New Hope. I know you're going to be a good CEO. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, honey. I do. I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity. And um, I'm going to go down to the office tomorrow to meet everybody. I bet you are. <laughs> Wait, didn't you say that there was a new job opening for an administrative assistant there? Yes, I did. Why? Well, I'm actually thinking about applying. Um, I just graduated college, so I want to make sure I have everything together before me and Michael move in together. Well, I, I believe that's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, I like that. Now, you know me. You know how I operate. <laughs> you know how we Jacksons do. <laughs> no <laughs> handouts. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's right. So go ahead and, and apply for the job because we don't want anybody to think that you have an unfair advantage or, yeah, you know, or they have an unfair advantage because of who I am. Okay. So do that, do the first interview, and then after that, we'll take it from there. Okay. Okay. Is that good? That's fair. Um, I'm actually thinking about going to apply today. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, most certainly. Most certainly. Anything for you. Uh, Ms. Mitchell? Yes? How can I help you? Uh, they told me to ask for you. No, we're not buying anything. We have a no solicitation policy here, so if you would please see yourself out. <laughs> No, ma'am. I'm actually here to apply for the administrative assistant position. Administrative assistant position? Do you have a resume? Yes, it's right here. Hmm. Well, I didn't tell you to sit down yet, but get comfortable, I guess. Okay, so you did go to college. Um, you actually have an education. Yes, I graduated top two in my class, and I also graduated early. Right. Is there a problem? No, just surprised. Usually your kind of people only come with a GAD nowadays. You people? Tell me about yourself. Actually, let me guess. You're the first to graduate college. You're a single mom and you need a job because you're probably pregnant again. Am I right? Um, no, actually. My mother and my father graduated from Harvard University. And my fiance is the chief pilot at TC Airlines. I just graduated college, so I'm just trying to push my career. Well, you don't have any experience, and you need experience. I don't know why you would apply here without any experience. Um, actually, I was an understudy at my dad's old company. I did that all throughout college. I have the experience. It says it on my resume. Hmm, I see. Well, would you be willing to do something about that wig? Because if we were to hire you, I wouldn't want you to scare the clients. You know, we serve a very particular group of people. And this is just not a good look. Are you implying that I wouldn't be a good representation for this company? I'm sorry, my experience and my education shows that I'm well qualified for the position. Let's talk about this. We have very large accounts owned by very successful people. And the administrative assistant is the first person they see when they come to the office. So to answer your question, no, I do not think that you're a good representation. I'm sorry, what's wrong with my hair? Or is it my face? Or is it my skin tone? I didn't say anything was wrong with your hair or your face. You forgot to say skin tone. Listen, April Jackson, is it? I've been here for 20 years. I know what type of people our clients like to deal with. And they would like to deal with their own people. So no, I cannot offer you a job here, but there's a janitorial service right over there. And I think you might be a much better fit there. I'm sorry, why can't you hire me? 
And what do you mean by your own people? I'm not understanding. I thought this company stood for equal opportunity. And I don't think your CEO would appreciate how you treat people. Is that a threat? I need you to leave my office right away or I will call security. Why? I did nothing wrong. You insulted me. <laughs> you know, I feel like you should research this company and who the new CEO of this company will be before you discriminate against their applicants. You have a great day. They think they know everything. Hey, baby girl. How did the interview go? What's that look about? Let's just say New Hope forgot about their famous mission statement, kindness and open opportunity. Now that's exactly what we stand for. What happened? I guess somebody forgot the memo. Talk to me, baby girl. Well, I went and applied like you told me to and I ran into this Miss Mitchell woman and she was just terrible to me. I think she's racist. I don't know, it's, she basically implied like I was the first one to graduate college in my family, how I was a single mother just looking for a come up. <laughs> she even made racist comments about my hair. Then she said she couldn't hire me because I might scare off the clients. She even suggested that I go apply to the janitorial job next door. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay. Everything's gonna be all right, baby girl. Don't worry. We're gonna go down there later today and we're gonna fix this. Okay. I got a plan. All right, Daddy. You know, Daddy got your back. Hello. You people just cannot take no for an answer. What are you gonna do? Block me? I'm calling security. Hello, security? Yes, could you come to my office right away? There's a woman here who's threatening me and refusing to leave. <sighs> Thank God you're here. Get rid of this woman. Look at that. She brought somebody else to bother me. Well, I can't do that, ma'am. Get rid of those people. Do you know who these people are? What do you mean? This is Mr. Jackson, and this is his daughter, April. Mr. Jackson, Jackson who? Apparently, Miss Mitchell, you haven't read your email about the new incoming CEO. Yeah, what does it have to do? I read it. The new CEO is called Mr. Jackson. You didn't even pay attention to the names on the resume. <laughs> you see, if you weren't too busy judging, and making racist comments about everything other than paying attention to who I really was. You were being mean and making racist comments about everybody instead of focusing on everything else but who I really was and my qualifications. <laughs> so you see, this is Mr. Jackson, my father, <laughs> the new CEO of New Hope. Ms. Mitchell, with that being said, today will be your last day here at our company. Yes. Our company is based and built on integrity. We take our mission statement very seriously here and we don't discriminate. We treat everybody as equal. Our skin tone doesn't matter. We're all created by God in unique ways. And we expect all of our employees to follow that with the spirit of integrity. April, you will now be the new manager here at New Hope LLC. And Ms. Mitchell, I need you to grab your things and exit expeditiously. No, I've, I've been here for 20 years. I've been loyal to this company. 
You can't do this. My husband wouldn't appreciate it. I'm sorry. Is that a threat? Security, can you please move Miss Mitchell out of my office? She doesn't want to leave. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. you can't do this. We can. Wait. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> You know what? I am so proud of you. You're gonna make a very great manager here at New Hope LLC. You really are. Congratulations to you, babe. Thank you, Dan. Yes, yes. Welcome to your new office. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember to turn on your notification bell so you get updated and notified whenever Family Cron posts a new video.